going on everyone, it's Matty O here. Join me today as I check out these Kemimoto side view mirrors. They are not only for the Pioneer 1000, they also fit several other different manufacturer UTVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Be sure to check out the description for a link where you can check this product out and buy your own and also see a full list of vehicles that is compatible with. One thing you'll notice, I already have some side view mirrors on my Pioneer 1000. I made a video about those. I purchased them a couple months back and they've been great. They've held up, they get whacked in the woods and they take a hit. Kenny Moto reached out to me. They wanted me to check these out. These are a little bit bigger than what I've got on the machine. We're gonna go ahead and take them out of the box, see what we're dealing with put them on the machine, then try them out in the woods. So let's get to it. All right, let's see what we got inside. Packing foam. Straightforward one page of directions. Of course, I'll study this thoroughly. And then check that out. These are packed in there nicely. I think there has to be something extremely catastrophic for them to get damaged. They're packed pretty well. And then this is an example of the mirror. Looks like it's on a, a ball type hinge. So that's nice and adjustable from several different angles. Pretty cool. And then we've got our clamp. Installation looks reasonably straightforward. The mirrors do have a protective film on them as well. So once we're installed, we'll be peeling that off. Got a small bag of hardware. That's a cool little wrench. Very nice. Of course, we got the second mirror. And that's that. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes, get my vehicle ready for installing these. By ready, I mean taking off my existing mirrors. And then join me as we install these on the machine. Let's do this. All right, so before we get to installing these, I just wanted to kind of give you my initial impressions having taken them out of the box and kind of comparing with what I've got on my machine at the present moment. These mirrors, they look very well made. The mounting hardware where the mirror clamps to the frame and where it connects to the pivot, all that material is metal. So comparing that with what I've got on the machine, these are the smaller Kemimoto mirrors. This is plastic. Now, I know I have my own thoughts about plastic and its durability, but this seems to be a rather durable type of plastic. It's hit trees out there in the woods and stuff, and it's held up fine for the past few months. No issues with it. That being said, I think this metal is a, a pretty solid upgrade over the mirrors I've got on the machine. And these mirrors, they're smaller. If you're looking for something more compact, they're great. Check out the video I've got for those if you are curious about them. But just to compare with what I've got on the machine, these mirrors are much larger. It looks like they're gonna stick out a little bit more, which could be something to think about when you're out in the woods and the trees. I imagine you're gonna get a nice picture from these mirrors, see a great deal of area behind your vehicle. I think these are gonna be nice looking and function nicely. The actual mirror part is plastic. It seems to be a similar material to these smaller mirrors. And here again, I've had no issues whatsoever with the construction or quality of the plastic components on these mirrors. So installation looks very straightforward. First of all, they give you the tools necessary to complete this job. Allen wrench. There's also this 10 millimeter angled wrench. Now I don't think you immediately need the angled wrench, but I noticed on the bottom of the mirror, there's a nut you can adjust if you want to tighten or loosen how easily this mirror is to adjust. If you were having any issues with your mirror staying in place during normal use, you could always just Get your wrench in there, snug it up a little bit. If it's too difficult to adjust, conversely, you could loosen it a little bit. So you've got some ability there to tweak things. But really what I'm gonna focus on is loosening, taking out these two Allen screws. They're gonna come out and it's gonna separate this clamp, allow us to put this mirror in around the roll cage. So let's do that. And as usual, if you've got any accessories, I have wires, vent hose, a windshield. I do have some obstacles. Be prepared to work around those accessories. You may need to shuffle things around. 
course if you don't have any of that it's gonna be a very easy installation and just be careful when you take the screws out there's a little lock washer on there so try not to lose that and left and right I'm just using the Kemi Moto logo for reference I'm guessing it goes upright like this now I have my previous mirrors mounted in this general area so I was going to continue to do that and I've got my windshield loosened up so I could just kind of put that clamp through and then it really is just as easy as putting those screws back in and snugging them up generally good that's on there the mirror also has an allen screw right here and in my case looks like it's a little bit loose this is so you can adjust the tilt of the mirror i would say once you've got it installed on the vehicle you could kind of snug this down to a location that makes sense And that's it everyone. I'm gonna install the passenger side mirrors, the same process. This installation was very easy. It's even easier than the mirrors I removed off the vehicle, I would say. Everything fits together nicely. And with two bolts, you're in business. I just wanted to point out to my fellow snorkeled riders out there, the mirrors fit very well with my snorkel. I really didn't have to do anything special. The mirrors come out enough where they clear the snorkel so there's no real interference or anything like that. So fear not, if you are snorkeled, these mirrors seem to be a nice fit. Now that we've got these mirrors installed, it's time to put them to the test. Let's go take a ride out in the woods, see how they hold up. I've got a lot of trees out in the woods, so there could be some contact. Hopefully the mirrors will fold in if there is any adverse contact and hopefully I get a nice clear picture of the rear of the vehicle from the driver's position. So let's see how they do. The mirrors are easy to adjust. And from the driver's seat, I can easily adjust this mirror. I have a very nice picture behind the vehicle. If you don't have a passenger present in the vehicle, you might have to move to adjust that mirror. Could be some trial and error involved, but same thing there. Everything looks nice and good. Really good. everyone there you have it these Kemi Moto side view mirrors they held up great out there in the woods I could see clearly behind the vehicle I give them a 10 out of 10 as far as side mirrors go they're perfect I like them a little bit better than the slimmer mirrors I had on the vehicle I could see a little bit more clearly out of them they are larger they stick out further but they really don't stick out any further than my tires do so I'm able to kind of really gauge where I can and can't fit with them on the vehicle. That being said, they got hit out there a little bit here and there. They held up fine. They're easy to adjust and once everything's nice and tight, they tend to stay where you put them. Good job, Kimmy Moto. Thank you again for reaching out to me. Let me test these out. And viewers, thank you for watching this video. If this is your thing, be sure to like, subscribe, do your part to help the algorithm figure it out. And until next time, it's Matty O and I'm out.